New dogs aren't the most fond of new settings. A Colorado couple learned that lesson the hard way during a recent snowboarding trip to Silverthorne. Yeah, I spoke to the two about how they found their dog, and spoiler alert, there is a really cute video coming. <laughs> Birkin here is really well trained. She knows paw, oh. <laughs> place, and even golf. But when her parents, CJ and Aaron, are not there, she's not as comfortable. And when they were on a snowboarding vacation in Silverthorne last week, she got a little frightened in the condo that they were renting. I think this new person trying to get her to get a leash on her on top of a brand new area and all of that, I think she was just, just spooked. Basically, the other couple on the trip was using the app Rover, where you can hire someone to walk your dog. They were using it for their dog, who was also in that rented condo. But when the dog walker came, she decided to also let Bergen out, who did not want a leash. And that's when she made the mistake of just letting Bergen out anyway. The rover person texted Rachel, our friend from North Carolina, and um, she told us that she was having a hard time with Bergen and that she was going to let her out. And um, before we knew it, a couple seconds later, she was calling CJ saying that she had ran away. Thankfully, for the next 48 hours, a whole community came together to help. Friends and family drove up and made signs. Facebook groups pitched in, and a nonprofit called Summit Lost Pet Rescue put their whole team on the case. And also, as it turns out, the entire town of Silverthorne is, like, really awesome. There was parents coming up to us saying, hey, my daughter left a loaf of bread and peanut butter outside. Or, hey, volunteers were driving around saying, hey, like, I got nothing else to do today. Just tell me what she looks like. I'm going to drive her on all day looking for her. Oh, she's that little brown dot? Yeah, she was up a lot further. And then on Valentine's Day, of all days, CJ got a call that a brown animal was spotted going up a hill. Oh, mama! Yeah! Yeah! After 48 hours, they finally found their best friend. She had lost a few pounds and was shaking, but thanks to a whole community of help, she was home. Lots of tears. I mean, she's... She's our best friend. When you're a dog lover, you just know that, like, they're your whole world. Now she has a, uh, a GPS collar, so this doesn't happen again. <laughs> Moral of the story. Danny knew, Deborah Seven.